lecture me, did not teach me how to live properly, rejoiced at my successes, grieved at my failures, but never pressed me. The worst thing I could hear from my mom was, Ira, you know that it is necessary to study well. Why? I asked naively. This knowledge will be useful to you in life. How can I in good stead the knowledge that Rome is the capital of Italy? It's necessary for the overall development. Underscore underscore quietly continued to convince my mother. Suddenly with someone in conversation you will say that Rome is the capital of England. What will people think of you? And for my future work it is not necessary. Depends on who you work for. If you are an engineer, you will need knowledge of mathematics, physics, maybe chemistry. Well, why do I need history, geography, biology? You'll have bad grades, you won't go to college, and I will work in a factory, underscore underscore sincerely said I, knowing that the working class in our socialist country has always been in price and in honor. I really did not understand why I need a higher education, if the workers get paid much more than the engineer. Well, imagine, in the cold and cold, you're eight hours a day, you'll put bricks on the construction site, and I will go to the plant, I said, resolutely. I'm imagining myself standing at the machine over in holding a hammer and chisel. On this, usually, our fruitless discussion stopped. I did not understand and then could not understand what it is to stand all shift at the machine. And many years later, when I left the institute, appeared in the workplace. When for eight hours repeated endlessly monotonous six operations, each of which lasted no more than ten seconds, got my brochure off the printing machine, put into the press, squeezed. Tightened the belt, put on the rack, then I remembered our mom talking. Only then did I realize what my mother was trying to convince me of. She certainly knew that people did not tend to learn from the mistakes of others, and, therefore, especially did not insist, believing that sooner or later life will put everything in place. So it happened. To my education. He was quite indifferent, and his displeasure when I gave a reason, expressed rare, but a long lecture. Reasons were different, most often I caused discontent late coming back, home. In the summer I was allowed to walk until 11 in the evening, in the winter, up to 9. If I was flirting and late, then on the way home I was terribly worried, afraid of dad's anger. So I did not come to the door, but to the window of the room in which my grandmother lived, and quietly knocked. Fortunately our apartment was located on the first floor. Grandmother carefully sneaked through the corridor, opened the latch and secretly from my dad started me. As a rule, such tactics worked. I quickly jumped into bed and pretended to be there for a long time. However, if I forgot that I was late for the deadline and slowly stomped home, calmly came to the door. I always came across an angry father, listened to his cries about my preferences and shook like a leaf, although dad only once in his life flashed a belt and never raised his hand to me. But, sometimes, suddenly, dad thought, called me to his room and began to actively educate, you learned your lessons. Yeah, tell me. I told him. After that, Daddy started asking questions himself. What city is the capital of Georgia? How many republics are there in our country? Who is the chairman of the Council of Ministers? I felt like in the exam. And soon learned all the answers to his favorite questions. Dad, for some reason I thought that they would be asked at the interview for admission to the institute. When I made any progress, for example, in sports, he was very proud of me. And having drunk wine with friends, he began to openly brag about what a wonderful daughter he had. Got all my awards, showed pictures. But worst of all, when he called me and represented the guests, I felt like a fool, a fool. After all, by that time I was almost an adult. Not a three-year-old child who gladly climbs on a chair to read a poem to guests. 
but once I got it from my dad. One day our parents went to visit their neighbors, and my brother and I stayed home alone. As always, quarreled, fought, and I, out of spite, cried so that they hurt me, Daddy, despite the fact that he was next door. He ran to us, grabbed the belt and do not understand the causes of the conflict, how less Daniel I, you are, and then me. Then he turned and walked away in silence. I, of course, immediately shut up, and my brother and I, as comrades in misfortune, immediately reconciled. Jura came up to me and presented her abrasion on the neck. Look how I got hurt because of you. Look, I, underscore, underscore, I answered, showing huge, a palm. A bruise, nestled on her hip. Brother Grokey, just most do not become ill from such a gloomy spectacle. Question mark. Wow, that's all he said. Question mark. You is. You have a belt swept by the neck and the tip scraped a little skin. And I lay in, and on me belt hit flat, sir such blanch and have. So I have two weeks to go to gymnastics training in Salwa Kameez to cover the thigh shining with all the colors of the rainbow. But it is more to such methods of education were not used. You are at the same time getting more. The dad himself was a man of bold and decisive and demanded the same from his son. Dad could never walk past the fighting people, be sure to climb to break it up. Or, for example, sitting at home in front of the TV, suddenly heard the noise of a fight on the street, he immediately jumped off and ran there. And oddly enough, dad never got caught up in angry brawlers. For some reason people immediately recognized him as a person with the right to decide their affairs.